10 Greatest Motorcycles of All Time When it comes to motorcycles, different riders have different things they look for in the definition of a perfect motorcycle. Some are looking for the speed that only high-powered superbikes can deliver, some are looking for sleek cruisers for weekend road trips and city dwellers looking for small bikes to get through traffic jams, as a result, choosing the most iconic motorcycles out of the thousands that have been around for decades can be very subjective and polarizing. But most riders would agree that there have been some truly groundbreaking designs that have given certain bikes the edge. Here are 10 motorcycles that will go down in history as the best motorcycle of all time. Number 10. BMW R32. A century ago, BMW was looking for a sustainable way to transition out of building aircraft engines. At the time, the BMW director, Franz Joseph Popp, saw an opportunity in the motorcycling market. This led to the development of BMW's first-ever bike, the iconic R32, the bike had a newly implemented 494 cubic centimeters M2B 33 engine capable of 8.5 horsepower and a top speed of 60 miles per hour, the R32 had a tubular steel frame with twin down tubes that continued under the engine to the rear wheel. The front fork had a trailing link design suspended by a leaf spring, similar to the forks used by Indian at the time. The R32 was the first bike to establish the boxer twin, shaft drive powertrain layout that BMW still uses today. Number 9. Harley-Davidson XR750. The Harley-Davidson XR750 is a racing motorcycle made by Harley-Davidson since 1970, primarily for dirt track racing, but also for road racing in the XRTT variant. When it comes to racing pedigree, few bikes can match the Harley-Davidson XR750. This motorcycle was introduced in 1969 to allow Harley-Davidson to participate in the AMA Grand National Championship, where it competed against top motorcycles from Japan and the UK. During its tenure, the XR750 has racked up the most wins of any other bike in AMA history. The XR750 is associated with the careers of racers Mark Brelsford, Cal Rayborn, and Jay Springsteen, and was the favorite motorcycle of stunt performer Evil Knievel. Knievel used the bike from December 1970 until his final jump in January 1977. An XR750 was included in the 1998 The Art of the Motorcycle exhibition, and one of Knievel's bikes is in the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History America on the Move exhibit. Riders on XR750s have won 29 of the 37 AMA Grand National Championships from 1972 to 2008 inclusive. Besides having more wins than any other bike in AMA racing, it has been called the most successful race bike of all time and has a claim to have more wins than any other racing motorcycle in history. Number 8. Vincent Black Shadow. Vincent Black Shadow was an innovative bike with a stressed engine and extensive use of aluminum motorcycles produced by Vincent HRD at their factory in Stevenage, Hertfordshire, England were renowned for their design innovation, engineering excellence, and high performance. Already advertising their existing 110 miles per hour repeat machine as the world's fastest production motorcycle, in February 1948 the distinctive Vincent Black Shadow was announced with a top speed of 125 miles per hour. Built in three different series over the course of its life. The line continued until 1955, after which the company stopped all motorcycle production. The Black Shadow uses a version of the air cooled four stroke 50 degrees V twin engine that powers the Vincent Rapide. Bore and stroke of the undersquare twin are 84mm and 90mm respectively, giving a displacement of 998 cubic centimeters. Number 7 Ducati 750 SS. The 1974 Ducati 750 Supersport is Ducati's holy grail and the bike that has made the Italian manufacturer one of the industry leaders. This bike is based on the 750 cubic centimeters race car that Paul Smart won the Imola 200 in 1972. Ducati has always prided itself on making durable sports bikes suitable for both the track and the street. Overall, its GT style bikes are moderately best sellers. However, his sports motorcycles are considered the pinnacle of motorcycling. When the Ducati 750 Supersport was launched in 1973, it immediately achieved classic status. It is also the most desirable production race car available. Based on Ducati's 1972 Imola winning bike, 
the SS had impressive records from the start. The engine is a 90-degree V-twin, the valve's action is unique in that it is desmodromic, or desmo for short. In the desmo engine, the valves are both opened and closed by the camshaft. The open cycle is completed as expected, the camlod pushes down a hard gap cap on the top of the valve. To close the valve, an additional lobe is brought into operation. Number 6. Yamaha Virago. The Virago is a mean-looking motorcycle that bears the hallmarks of Yamaha's first V-twin cruiser motorcycle. Introduced in 1981, the Virago was also one of the first bikes to use a monoshock rear suspension, which helped propel the industry forward. The bike was an instant hit, leading to Yamaha introducing 500 cubic centimeters and 900 cubic centimeters variants. In 1984, Yamaha decided to replace the single shock design with double rear shock absorbers. The newly modified Virago has been such a hit in North America that Harley Davidson, fearing losing many customers, has urged American policymakers to impose tariffs on imported bicycles. The larger displacement Viragos were eventually phased out of production, replaced by the V-Star and Roadstar series of motorbikes. The engines lived on, however. The last motorcycle to bear the Virago name was the 2007 Virago 250. Number 5. Triumph Bonneville. Needing no introduction, Triumph has been one of the most famous bicycle manufacturers of the past century. Out of all the iconic motorcycles produced by the British company, the Bonneville is their most successful model since its introduction in 1959. Interestingly, the bike is named after Utah's infamous Bonneville Salt Flats, a desert location where famous bike makers compete to break land speed records. The Bonneville featured a parallel four-stroke engine that allowed it to reach speeds of 185 km per hour, which was unheard of at the time. Besides its insane speed, the Bonnie also had a sleek design and low saddle that made it popular among celebrities and professional racers of the time. Number 4. Britain V1000. The Britain V1000 may be the rarest bike on this list, but most motorcycle enthusiasts have at least heard of it. The V1000 is the brainchild and lifelong work of visionary John Britton, who sadly passed away in 1995 at the age of 45. John Britton designed and handcrafted the V1000 in a garage on the South Island of New Zealand with the help of friends. Little did he know that this bike would eventually challenge and beat the best twin-cylinder bikes the main manufacturers had to offer at races held in Daytona, Europe and other cities. Elsewhere in the world. Only 10 V1000S were built. Number 3. Ducati 999R. With the 999R, Ducati has taken the best aspects of its successful 996, 998 and 916 platforms and bundled them into a dominant package. Ducati started production of the 999R in 2003 and will continue production until 2006. The 999R has participated in various Superbike World Championships and received critical acclaim due to its controversial design. However, its track performance proves that Ducati's design direction remains one of the best thanks to the Desmodromic L-Twin engine producing respectable power and torque figures. The 999R's performance-oriented suspension and trellis frame also made it one of the most precise motorcycles of its time and one of the best to ever hit the track. Number 2. Aprilia RS250. When it comes to design, the Aprilia RS250 can only be compared to a Swiss watch, precise in every respect, with each component serving a distinct purpose. Introduced in 1995, the RS250 was inspired by the RSW250 Grand Prix motorcycle that rider Valentino Rossi used in MotoGP races, it featured a liquid-cooled 249 cubic centimeters V-twin engine housed in a twin-bar frame with thin-walled monocoque struts. What makes the RS250 so popular, especially with younger riders, is that it's easy to use, has good suspension and brakes for its price, and was one of the first production bikes to include a lap timer on the dashboard. Number 1. Honda NR. What is this? A big 916 wrapped around the most attractive engine ever built? The NR is in homage to Honda's line of new racing oval piston motorcycles that began in the late 70s. The four pistons are shaped like a NASCAR racetrack, and each piston has two rods. 
connections, and eight valves. This bike was born before the 916 and inspired Ducati's slim bibs, mischievous headlights, and twin tailpipes. The NR is a stunning reminder that no matter what engine BMW or Ferrari makes, Honda makes the best engines in the world.